harassment is a painful, serious, embarrassing problem that our society is dealing with. Harassment happens when there is no fear of God, even when the person is said to be righteous. Note, consciousness is not righteousness, as my sister Emuna Israel tells us. Also, righteousness does not connote the fear of Yah. Abraham journeys to Gerar, the land of Abimelech, and he said about Sarah, his wife, she's my sister. Abimelech then takes Sarah into his chambers. God comes to Abimelech in the dream at night and tells him he was going to die because of the woman that he had taken. He was going to die because of this harassment. Abimelech's response is shocking. This is what he says. O oh Lord, will you kill even a righteous nation? This was Abimelech's statement. And he continues, With the innocence of my heart and with the purity of my hands have I done this. This is a righteous man. More shocking is Yah's response. I too know that you did this with the innocence of your heart. Abimelech then summoned Abraham and said to him, What have you done to us? And what have I sinned against you that you have brought upon me and upon my kingdom a great sin? Deeds that are not done you have done to me. Abraham is silent. So Abimelech continues, What did you see that you did this thing? We are a righteous nation, a righteous people. What did you see that you did this thing? And Abraham said, for I said, surely there is no fear of God in this place, and they will kill me because of my wife. Because there's no fear of God here. Yes, you're a righteous nation, but you lack the fear of God. Because you lack the fear of God, you will harass me and kill me even for my wife. Emuna was right. Consciousness is not righteousness. And righteousness does not connect the fear of Yah. Abraham was at a disadvantage, so Abimelech took advantage of him. This is extremely immoral. At the very essence of morality is the simple statement, although you are bigger than me, you may not take advantage of that. This is what morality says. I may have this inability or disadvantage because I may be weak, but morality detects that you should not take advantage of my disadvantage. You may be rich and me poor, so your words carry more weight than mine. Morality says the fact that you are rich gives you an advantage. The fact that I am poor gives me a disadvantage and you are not allowed to take advantage of my disadvantage. You see, God created the world and did not make people equal. This means that when two people get together, it immediately sets up a situation where one has an advantage over the other, or they each have an advantage over the other in different fields. I may not be as smart, but I may be richer than you. I may not be as big, but I may be faster. So one is always tempted to take advantage of the other when two people get together. Morality means that I resist the temptation of taking advantage of your disadvantage. Human beings take great pride in the fact that although in our body we are similar to the animal, we take great pride in the fact that we do not live by the dictates of the body but rather by the dictates of our soul. Although we are physical beings and have physical needs, we rise above them when the occasion calls for it. For example, a mother may be exhausted, but she gets energy from some place when her kid is crying. Not because her body can do it, but because her soul can do it. A man may be weak, but when he sees another man pinned underneath a car, he will lift the car up, not because his body can do it, but because his soul can do it. We live by our soul. We should live by our soul as much as we can. And that is our claim to fame as humans. This is what makes us human. 
So let us take a cue from our Torah. Don't be an Abimelech. Conscious, righteous, and yet lacking the fear of Yah because that will cause you to do things that we cannot write home about. Stop the harassment. Stop abusing women. Stop abusing children. Don't be an Abimelech.